Hello, my name is Peter Humphreys. I'm with the Guideline Power Team in the USA, and I'm going to tie a very simple Temple Dog tube fly. Um, this one is going to be based on what I would consider to be Muskegon River colors. Um, it's it's really based on my good friend Kevin Feenstra's pattern that he ties. I think it's the aquatic nuisance that he ties with a, a green and copper flash. So I must give credit to my friend Kevin because the color combination has been pinched from him. I don't think he minds though. So what I've done here is I've stretched this tube a little bit in my finger and thumb just to make it a little bit tapered. I've done this because this particular pattern I'm going to add um, a little turbo cone to the front. So that's why I've done that. But to start with, I'm going to put on a large cone and I'm going to put a little bit of super glue onto the tube. So we put that into here. And then I'm going to just slide this cone down a little further. It'll pick up that glue and then that'll glue that into position. And I leave about an inch of tubing behind. Um, that's where we're going to put our hook, obviously. So tube's in place. I'm going to come in and get some thread started in front of the tube because the tube, the cone, sorry, in front of the cone, the cone is going to help to support my wing and keep its profile when it's wet. And the, the nice thing about having the cone behind the wing, it means I can use quite sparse materials for my wing so the fly is not too bulky and it'll sink very effectively. And this is only a two-wing fly. I've done this on purpose because it seemed it would take me about 40 minutes to tie a fully dressed temple dog when you do the body and do all the steps and the three wings and three hackles. And to be honest, they just really didn't look that good. And you have to be a very, very good tire to do all those steps. And I just am not that good of a tire. So this, to me, seems to work very well. And it's very quick and easy to tie. So I'm going to start with a yellow wing of Arctic Fox. This is going to be the underwing. Um, reasonable amount of, of hair fibers. And I'm just going to taper this. You see how this isn't tapered very nicely? We, we really want to get this teardrop shape. So I'm just going to take the middle section and pull it up a little bit. Now you can see how that has made that a more tapered wing. Just take this bottom piece off. And I'm going to try to keep this wing nice and flat because I don't want to tie it in like this, I want to tie it in like that. So bring that in, lay it on, roll it around the tube, about there, come in, just get a couple of wraps around it, and then just with your nail I'm just going to flatten this in. And make sure it's 180 degrees around the tube, like so, and then I'll just give it a couple Good wraps up to the cone. Come in. Just trim that out. Now I'm going to add my first flash. And for the first wing, I'm just going to add some copper. Copper is just a wonderful color. What uh, what lure has accounted for more fish? Probably the copper m copper bladed MEP spinner. So I really like copper in my flies. Tie this in and just spread it out to the sides. Try to get it nice and round onto the sides because the fish will never ever swim above your fly and look down on it. Okay, so there's the underwing. The top wing I'm going to make, I'm going to use black. It's going to be Temple Dog. A little bit sparser. And a little bit, uh, it's a little bit softer. So, and this one's going to be about an inch longer. That way we build the right profile of the fly. So this is already fairly well tapered. So I'm not going to worry about tapering it, but I am just going to make sure it's nice and flat. Bring that in. Get it into position about an inch past. Come in. Get it into position right on top of the first wing. Now I still have time to come in and adjust it and make sure that it is completely around that tube 180. Good. Now I'll 
Just put a couple more wraps just to, to secure it. Come in with my scissors and just take out this piece. Now we're going to, I'm just going to brush these wings. It just helps to marry them. So I'm just going to brush these wings together. It just helps to marry the two together. So you can always see now we've built this wing and it has this nice profile, which is what we want, that teardrop shape. Now I'm going to add my second set of flash and I'm going to mix in uh, copper and Kelly green. So I'm going to take my copper first and just put it in my mouth. Grab the green. Mix these two colors together. And again, get them nice and spread out. Come in. Push them around to the sides. Get a couple of wraps and then fold back. And again, push down to the sides and secure it in. Mm. Looks pretty good. Now I'm just going to clean up this head area. We're just going to add one hackle and that will be the fly finished. So it's very simple. But I'm just going to clean this with this very sharp razor. It just cleans up this head and will hopefully allow me to make a neater head. Now I'm going to add a hackle, um, so I'm going to prep it from, by cleaning off the, the bottom stem, like so, and pick how much I want. I can use quite a lot because this, this is only a one hackle fly, so, and it'll help me to cover up my junction, so I'm going to use this much for my hackle. Cut this little triangle, maybe even a little smaller. I'm going to tie it in on the to the bottom of the tube. Get some good wraps on it. We don't want it to pull out. And then work the thread forward now onto the bare tube, like so. And I'm just going to fold this hackle back with my finger and thumb and come forward. Fold it back. Come forward. Fold it back. Come forward. And fold. Got a bit of flash caught there. Hang on. Hold it. Wrap. Fold it. And wrap. There's a little hackle in front. Give that a little brush just to get the fibers all straightened out. So that would be fine as it is. But we're going to do a couple of things extra to make this fly just a little bit more special. We're going to add jungle cock cheeks so we can see where it's swimming. And I'm also going to put a little turbo cone on the front, which will hopefully even add more action to the wing. So with these jungle cock cheeks, I like to tie mine in across, crisscross, and I think that makes them stick out a little nicer than if you were to just tie it in sort of flat. So take the take the, the feather and just clean back what you don't want, and just give it a little roll, and let's tie this one in your side first. I'm just going to catch it in the thread, a couple of wraps. Then I'm just going to slide it onto the top, and I can set it just where I want to get it. How about like that? Look, see how it's sticking out? They'll really show up in the water. Just finish that off. Now we're going to do my side. Let's 
Again, select another feather. Just give it a little bend just to help it shape around the fly. Clean back what you're not going to tie in. And I'm going to put this on my side. Again, just catch it in with a couple, maybe three wraps. And now I can just come in and pull that in and slide it just to where I want it to be. How about right there? Perfect. And just come in. Finish that off. So there. You can see how we have our jungle cocks added. Let's just clean that up. The razor. Okay. You could finish that head now and that would be fine. But I'm gonna add a turbo cone. This is a small this is the small size. Um, I think that it's a little easier to cast than perhaps the large size cones and it definitely does add a little bit of action it creates a little bit of a vortex and adds a bit more action to this wing so I'm just gonna put a little super glue onto the thread just to finish this piece off just wrap this glue into that head no need to do any whip finish with that super glue, it's not going to go anywhere. I've never had one of these come undone. Now, because I've tapered this small tubing, I can fit my turbo cone on. It's a bit of a tight fit, and you sometimes have to be, because these are really designed to go on the extra small tubing. But as long as you taper this down, you can fit them on. And then I like to use some pliers, and I'm just going to slide this into place. Now you might just have to also advance the fly off the needle. I'm just going to get that and I'm going to pull it. Quite firmly too. You want to seat it right up against that wing. Perfect. You can see how that sat nice and tight. Now just to finish off the fly so it's done, I'm just going to come in with my scissors and I'm going to cut off and leave about, oh maybe eighth, sixteenth of an inch. And now I'm just going to hit this with the lighter and you'll see it's going to roll back. See how it's rolling back into place? And there we have it. The copper and green temple dog. 